Space economy is bigger than most people realize and further along the S-curve than I previously thought. Good thing there is a book that puts that into a very sharp focus. Let's review Space Economy by Chad Anderson. Three, two, one. Hi, my name is Pavel Rozhov and if you're a casual space fan like me, you probably struggle with a steep learning curve, no matter your professional background. In which case, Space Economy is a great book for someone just starting to learn about rockets, satellites, and what the heck is going on aboard International Space Station. What I really liked about this book is practical focus on what space economy is now. Space is more than just going to moon or Mars and planting a flag. It's more than just experiments in microgravity. And it's not just about launch providers like SpaceX. In fact, it's a rapidly growing industry that's powered by ever lowering launch costs. And we are all witnessing this transition of space being the domain of governments to the domain of free enterprise. And with that, there is a lot of catching up that needs to happen. Space economy really opened my eyes on the topic of space regulation, or in some cases deregulation that needs to keep pace with accelerating launch cadence, so new companies with innovative ideas can come in and add their unique value here on Earth. Speaking of Earth, I always assumed that most satellites just take pictures and analyze data or whatever, but I didn't realize just how important that planetary data is becoming in our daily lives. Think about it. The amount of satellite launches made possible by reusable Falcon 9 rocket and many other launch providers is just tip of the iceberg. That infrastructure layer is, of course, the backbone that makes all other innovation possible. And newest rocket from SpaceX, Starship, is going to completely change the calculus of what's possible to bring to orbit. However, all of this is just means to an end. Satellites that are hurled into space on a weekly basis are meant to provide a ton of value back on Earth. From agriculture analysis at scale, to mapping ocean currents and methane leaks from oil and gas pipelines. And think about all that GPS data powering our everyday apps like Uber and Google Maps. All this data needs to be processed, packaged, hosted, sold and updated with every single orbit. Just imagine all the people who need to handle that and jobs that are need to be filled. And most of them are not even rocket scientists, by the way. In any case, space economy has tons of practical advice for entrepreneurs who want to start their own space companies and for professionals looking to make a pivot. In fact, the author, Chad Anderson, actually launched Space Talent Portal with tons of job postings across various space companies looking to hire professionals and many other useful resources. This book was a great primer on things beyond Space Station or SpaceX, both of which of course dominate the headlines when it comes to regular news covering space. It was a real breath of fresh air to learn about a whole bunch of successful companies, the history of space industry over the last decades, and what's just around the corner, such as the impact that SpaceX Starship rocket will have on what is going to be possible with even lower launch costs. However, if you want additional resources to learn more about space, Take a look at the video I've recently done that covers additional space resources that I found very helpful when I was just getting started with learning about space. And in the meantime, check out Space Economy Book by clicking the link in video description. And please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And I'll see you all in the next video.